What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Series 14 ladder, but this time using a Zygarde and Kyogre team to push the high ranks. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator, Cantho Clark. Thank you so much for making this rental code. Cannot wait to use it and hopefully grab some wins on the ranked ladder. If any of you guys want to go check out his content, link to his channel and his socials will be down in the description below. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Zygarde over here. And Zygarde, I feel like, is definitely underrated considering he is very weak to ice type Pokemon. But if you're going up against uh, a team with no ice type Pokemon or no Pokemon with uh, no ice moves on it, he can really thrive out and be great in the Dynamax format. He's got Power Construct as his ability, the weakness policy as his item, and then he's got Thousand Arrows, Iron Tail, Protect, and Rock Slide for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Choice Scarf Kyogre. You guys know the power of this Pokemon. It just outspeeds everybody and does crazy damage with Origin Pulse and Water Spout. It's got Origin Pulse, Water Spout, like I just mentioned, for two of its moves. Then it's got Thunder and Ice Beam for the other two. Middle left is going to be Urshifu, the dark and fighting one with Unseen Fist and the Focus Ash as its item. It's got Protect, it's got Wicked Blow, it's got Sucker Punch, it's got Close Combat. Such a strong Pokemon and really good at countering Shadow Rider Calyrexes. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Kartana, and I'm really glad we're starting to see Kartana come back into the format in Series 12, because in Series 13, I don't really remember seeing it too much. It just wasn't relevant, and it wasn't as strong as it used to be. It's got Beast Boost as its ability, Assault Vest as its item, and it's got Smart Strike, Aerial Ace, Leaf Blade, and Sacred Sword for its four moveset. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be one of our two support mods. It is going to be Whimsicott with Prankster and Eject Button. It's got Switcheroo to hand off that Eject Button. It's got Tailwind for Speed Control. Moon Blast for its stab hitting move, and then Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Comfy over here, our second, uh, what is it, second support Pokemon. And this Pokemon is good with that Zygarde because it can proc the weakness policy, it can heal it up, and it can kind of just like make the Zygarde overpowered. It's got Triage and the Babiri Berry as its item, and it's got Floral Healing, Trick Room, Draining Kiss, and Ally Switch. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with his Zygarde and Choice Scarf Kyogre Series 14 team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Shadow Rider Kyogre team with Zacian, Blastoise, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Regilecki. I definitely remember going up against this team back in like Series 12, but hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and get started off strong. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? <coughs> I remember saying in the team preview that uh, Urshifu counter Shadow Rider Kyogre, so if he wants to lead Shadow Rider Kyogre, I'm all about going to the, in with Urshifu. He's definitely bringing in Rillaboom at some point, so we definitely have to watch out for that, but I might go Urshifu. Unless I Whimsicott, or do I go straight into Z I could go Zygarde Comfy, which I kind of like it a little bit. Or I can go like Whimsicott, grab some speed, and then go in with maybe like Urshifu, or even Kartana would be good. I just have to watch out for that, uh, I have to watch out for that Rillaboom. Rillaboom is going to be a problem. I could go Whimsicott. I could definitely go Whimsicott. I'm kind of leaning towards. I mean, he can fake me out at that point, but then we can protect. We kind of roll from there, switch a roof, see what he's going to do. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go Zygarde. I might just Dynamax Zygarde right off the rip. This is tough. This is tough. I could go Kartana for a lead. But I feel like I should bring in all three of these. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead the Zygarde without the Comfy. I'm going to see maybe he can proc my weakness policy. If not, we can just stay in, chip up some damage, kind of go from there. Then Saber Dynamax. But yeah, it's definitely tough. It really depends on his lead. The thing is, I really want to Dynamax uh, Zygarde and do the Comfy combo, but at the same time, it's like, dude, we need some speed on this, and I'm just kind of can fulfill that need. So he's going to go Rillaboom and Regilecki, which I'm all cool with. I mean, he could fake me out. I could actually protect this turn, which I might actually end up doing. I might end up protecting. I could Dynamax and go to a Quake. Might even be my play. Dynamax straight into a Quake? We have options here. I'm trying to think what Pokemon could he swap into. He has to have Zassy and Shadow Rider Calyrex, right? As his back end Pokemon. I'm all about Quaking this turn. I really do like Quaking. Um, I'm just going to protect Wimscott just in case I fake out or something along those lines come in here. So I'm just going to go for the Max Quake. I'm going to grab that special defense piece for the team. I'm going to go from there. I just don't want that eject button flying. 
I just do not need it. I do not need it if he's gonna fake me out. But at that point, I can just save our uh our switcheroo or even pop a tailwind next turn, which I wouldn't mind doing. I wouldn't mind popping a tailwind and then having him uh eject button me out. That's really good as well. And then I can get out a different Pokemon. But out comes Zygarde. We're gonna die max him. We're gonna go for that special defense boost. But a Pokemon that I have to get rid of is going to have to be that uh, this Robum. Robum is just such a huge threat. Just too big of a threat here. Protect's gonna come out from the Worm Scott. I think Fake Out is going to roll here. If I had to guess right. No, he just straight up Grass Glides into you. That's that's fine. I'm gonna go in with Reg like he's gonna bounce. <gasps> oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. So smart play by him. He's gonna bounce here. We're gonna quake. I'm just gonna quake again into that slot. I'm guessing he's gonna be focus ash, right? Um, do I switch a route or do I just tailwind speed here? Hmm. What do I wanna do? I might just switch to Rue this item. Take that item and then quake here. I'm just gonna take his item. Throw an eject button out there. It's tough news. That is tough news. Really bounced on me? How dare you? I'm gonna take his item and we'll say, hey, yo, give me that item. And the reason I'm not tailwinding is because then my Zygarde can outspeed Reg Lucky and we'll miss the attack. We got his Miracle Seed, which is nice. Grace Guy's gonna fly again. We're slowly soaking up. He's gonna go for that bounce. And is that gonna KO my Wim Scott? No, it's not. So now I can set up a tailwind. Now Jeans can set up a tailwind. I'm just gonna quake here. Special Defense Boost is going to get poking, but that was a really solid turn for me. Really was. Does he have Sash? He does not have Sash. The Shadow Rider Kyler definitely has a Sash thing. Okay, I'll take that. Special defense is boosted. This thing does have a jack button. Um, it can't grasp the guy again, but I don't mind it keep taking down my HP. Because at that point, it's just kind of, uh, it's going to proc the power construct, which we can get a lot of value out of. But I could go into a moon blast now and proc my own weakness policy. It really depends who he goes into. I think he goes into Shadow Rider here. He has to have Shadow Rider and Zassian. It's got to be the Pokemon. Calyrex gonna come out here. Calyrex. Okay, so Calyrex comes out here. He's probably just. I don't think he's gonna. Oh no, he actually might Dynamax that Pokemon. He's not gonna Dynamax Roll Boom with the Jack Button on. No shot he does that. He's probably gonna Dynamax that Pokemon. I am going to take speed at this point. And I could Steel Spike. I could Rock Fall. I think I'm just gonna leave the Roll Boom in here for now. I'm just gonna Quake into the Calyrex slot. Gives me no reason not to. Give me no reason not to just Quake into the Calyrex slot. That Robum's gonna be a pain. It's gonna be a pain. I do have Cartana chilling here with, or not Cartana. I do have a, uh, what's that Pokemon's name? Urshifu in the back end, which is gonna be good for us. Sucker Punch can do some damage onto the Robum, but Robum's just so strong. I knew I shouldn't have brought in Kyogre. If I would have brought in Cartana at this point, it could have been really, really good for us. Because Cartana could just straight up uh, Aerial Ace, do some big old damage to Robum. And he's gonna, he's going to Dynamax Robum. That's a big mistake by him. I don't, I don't I don't know what he's doing there. He has the eject button. I'm so surprised at that. I am so surprised at that. So he takes speed. I don't mind that because I'm going to just make him hard swap next turn. When he takes out one of my Pokemon. He probably takes out my Wimscot here, right? Probably takes out my Wimscot, correct? We go into Calyrex there all day. And what does he do? He's just going to go into an Astral Brash here, right? Yep, Astro Barrage will take out Wimscott. Does some damage to my Zygarde. Zygarde should be able to eat up whatever shot Robum has to offer. And we'll go from there. So Grim Knight is going to get boosted. But again, we have speed on the board. We have some lovely speed. Overgrowth is going to come through right here. And I think you should be able to eat this up. Right, right Zygarde? No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're bulky, man. You're bulky little, bulky little boy. You're bulky little boy right there. So now I got Power Construct, which is awesome. I'm power constructing here. I could go for a thousand arrows and I could double down. I could choice into a move other than uh Wow look at that HP. It goes up to 612. That is insane. But yeah, I could uh I could go into a move to actually what should I do here? Do I go into Urshfu here? I think I have to go into Urshfu. I could just go into you. Start water spouting. Choice into water spout here? I'm fine with that. Yeah, we're going to choice in the water spot here. I think his Kyogre should be faster. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a water spout. 
Make that eject button pop in the Zacian and then go for a thousand hours for a super effective shot. And take out the uh, Shadow Rider at the same time. But I really do like that. I am liking that turn. I'm digging that turn a lot. But yeah, Water Spout coming out here. Dropping it and then just thousand arrows straight up. Nice lovely thousand arrows. Owen might even max guard here. I don't know. What, what is he going to do? He's going to protect the Caldex. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We're making that robe and swap. He has the eject button. You have the eject button. You're saying, see you later, dude. Get on out of here. The water spout's going to fly here. Eject button is going to pop. I'm so surprised he, he dynamaxed that robe boom. Like, I would have dynamaxed Caldex. There's no shot I would have dynamaxed robe boom. No, he had an eject button. So he's forced to swap. We can go for a 3,000 arrows here. We still have Tailwind. And now my... My what's called just chilling here. My Kyogre is going to get at least a little bit of value without rolling on the field. And then I know my Urshifu can probably take on that 1v1. That's really good for us. And we have Power Construct Zygarde. He is thriving out here. In full form. Thousand Arrow is going to fly here. Getting off some damage. He is itty. Or the Calyx is protected. But still. That seems not going to take too kindly to that. And we're, we're sitting in probably the best position in the game right now. We have two very fast Pokemon with Tailwind. We have two Pokemon that can hit with double hitting moves. It's GG. And we have Kyogre at full HP. At full HP. And even if he protects and outsaws the Tailwind, Kyogre's still going to be able to outspeed and pick up the double KO, no problem. In the rain with the Water Spout, full HP. No one's stopping that. No one is stopping that. He could swap into the Rillaboom. I mean, that might give him a slight chance, but I see if he swaps into Rillaboom, he's just kind of going to take some damage here. Let's see, Water Spout. Actually, that's not a bad play. The Protector. I'm hoping Robin comes out here before the What's Called does. I'm hoping the Robin comes out here before the Terrain ends. The Terrain should be ending rather soon, right? I, don't, I do not want him to bring the Terrain back out here. <laughs> like, that could be a pain. Because if Tailwind ends here... I think if Tailwind ends... This one's going to be close, I think. Yeah, grass disappears. He comes back out. He can grass glide me. I'm not even going to protect. I'm just going to straight up water spout. We still have Tailwind. If we still have Tailwind, we're, we should be sitting fine here. If we still have Tailwind, we should be sitting fine here, which I think we might. Do we have Tailwind? I think it actually might end. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Tailwind, where you at? Do we have you for another turn? We do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So we still have Tailwind for another turn. At this point, I'm just going to drop a Water Spout. Thousand Arrows yet again. Because if I can get rid of Zacian, like I said, my Urshfu's totally fine at picking up this 1v1. But if he protects and Grassy Glides, like if he lands a double protect here, that's going to be tough. And I hate losing to RNG, so that would be an RNG loss. Again, if he can protect and waste out Tailwind, then next turn, oh man, yeah, we, we, we have to. He can't land double protect here. Cool, he doesn't protect. That's totally fine. You can take out my Kyogre all day. And my Kyogre survives on 5 HP because we got rid of his uh, Miracle Seed. Because we got rid of his Miracle Seed. I'm all I'm all about that. The beautiful... He, you, wait, you outspeed me? You outspeed me? Please eat this up. You're power constructed. Thank you. Thank you. You outsped me. Get out my face with that. Get out my face. Yo, Zygarde, take him out of his misery. Thank you. See you later, Zacian. I cannot believe that Zacian is faster than Tailwind Zygarde. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But now we're sitting in the hot seat. He doesn't have no double hitting moves. I mean, he's probably going to take out Kyogre. Actually, if he was smart, he wouldn't take out Kyogre. If he was smart, he wouldn't take out Kyogre. Because Kyogre can only uh, water spout here. My Tailwind's gone. And again, I'm pretty fine with this. Actually, I could, I could swap him. I think I'm going to do I'm going to swap him just so we can get that speed going again. Actually, no, no, we're not going to swap him because he, he will have first turn priority all day. We'll stay in with this and we will go into, uh, I guess, an Iron Tail. Right? Iron Tail is probably your best bet. Actually, we could miss an Iron Tail. But look at that damage. We're going for an Iron Tail. I'm all about the Iron Tails. I'm all about it. I'd rather have my I'd rather have that Kyogre go down and have my Urshifu at full HP. But he is going to be smart with this one. And my Zygarde eats. <laughs> my Zygarde eats. Which is hilarious. We're going to go into that, do like 4 HP, and then Iron Tail. Hopefully you connect. What'd you say, like 75 accuracy? Yeah, and it connects pretty good. Iron Tail's going to get a crit, too. He said, hey, yo. He said, if I'm landing, I'm landing a crit. That's what Iron Tail said. <laughs> but yeah, surprise this guy has a crit. Yeah, he knows I have a Pokemon in the back end. If he, he looks at my team, it's either Urshifu 
or Cortana. There's no way I'm bringing a Comfy and Wimscott in the same battle. It's just not happening. It's not just not happening. And I feel like he takes out my uh I think he takes on my Zagard if anything. So now, now should be a good time to swap and go into an Iron Tail. That was a great turn to swap. There's no way he's going after that Kyogre slot, right? And I can have Kyogre in the back end with Ice Beam now, just in case. He goes for a Grassy Glide. Yep, just as I predicted, he takes out Zagard. And now we're sitting fine. Now we're sitting perfectly fine. Who are you going to go after? You, you're going to take at least two shots to take out my Urshifu here because I have Focus Ash. Or are you going to go after the... Uh, the Kyogre that's going to kill you one. They're both going to kill you one. That's GG's. That is GG's. Jeans getting on the rank ladder. Starting off strong for you guys. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And I'm actually able to find battles today. Sometimes I just can't find battles. It takes me a little bit. And it's weird because I play around the same time every day. And I record around the same time. But today, we were just able to find a nice little match. We're good for Sucker Punch. But I'm just going to finish him off with a Wicked Blow. And then choice into an Ice Beam this time around. Cancel the battle, please. I can't believe you, like, dude, what are you doing? I hit through protects too. I hit through protects. I have unseen fist. It's going right through that little bubble. Right through that little bubble. Now he's probably like, yo, what? I'm, I'm protected. Nah, yo, we got this ability. Get on out my game. You should have canceled a while ago. Check out our opponent's team in battle number two. I have not seen Galarian Articuno in so long, and it is such a cool Pokemon. This guy also has Whimscott. Bufalant, who is a sick off-meta Pokemon, then he has Groudon and Zacian, then Duskops were his final Pokemon. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I definitely feel like I have to match speed and go on the Wimscott. So Wimscott is going to be my lead here. I am also going to bring Kugo Zygarde as lead again. Wimscott Zygarde worked out really well for us in the last battle. Um, we definitely need Kyogre in the back end just for weather control, considering he has Groudon. But I might lead Urshifu. I feel like Urshfu is really, really good in, up against a lot of these Pokemon, so I'm going to lead the Urshfu here, bring Kyogre in the backhand, and then do I go Kartana or Zygarde? Hmm. Kartana's not bad. Because of its moveset, I kind of dig it. Does, is it Rock and a Grass move? I think it is. Are you Rock and a Grass move? Better be. Yeah, you got Leaf Blade all day, Kartana. Yeah, I think we're going to go Kartana here. Just a really strong Pokemon, especially with that Assault Vest. I like it all around, even though he has a lot of physical attackers. Is Bufalant physical? I believe Bufalant is physical. I think everybody's physical on this team except for Galarian and Articuno. I'm not counting Whimsicott and Duskops because they're mainly support, but yeah. A lot of physical attackers on this team. But I forgot to ask you guys question of the day in battle number one, so let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys a fan of Pokemon and Scarlet having 18 badges? They just announced that they're having 18 badges. I think it's going to be like throughout three different main storylines. They're going to be gym battles and Elite Four, and then there's going to be like... Uh, boss battles and like another side story and all that with 18 badges included. I'm actually a big fan of the 18 badges. I wish they were all gyms, but hey, we're trying out something new here. Hopefully it works out and hopefully it's really, really good. But he's going to end up leading disaster in the ground combo. I am just going to take speed and I think I'm just going to punch onto that, uh, that Zassian. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Take speed and punch on the Zassian. He can't protect because we're going to unseen fist him. Punch right through it. We're going to walk from there. And if he wants to uh, trigger my... Oh, I could, hmm, I could definitely switch a room. The ground on might max, but no, I'm going to set up Tailwind. We need speed. We need speed, and do I go into, what does more damage? I never really got this calculation down. The, cr the crit on the Wicked Blow? Or the close combat? I think close combat might do more. I want to see the crit multiplier. I know I have a little bit of time, but I'm looking it up on my other monitor. It multiplies it by 1.5, so it's another 1.5 boost. So it gets a stab, which brings it to 120, and then uh, it's about the same. They do the exact same. I like going the Wicked Blow here. And I, I, of course, I didn't get it off. I didn't get it off. He withdraws him anyway. Okay, I don't mind that turn. So he withdraws the ground on. He's going to go into Dust Cops here. And actually, dude, I think Wicked Blow might go into that slot. I'm pretty sure it goes in the first turn. Oh, it protects. It protects. It's wonderful. It's just what I wanted. That's fine. I don't mind it protecting him. We're going to Tailwind here. We might even go after my Urshfu here. Nope. We just wasted a turn. That's love. We like that. We like that a lot. So we just waste a turn. We do have Tailwind out and about, which is good. I feel like I just bring Kyogre, right? I think I just bring Kyogre and force a swap. 
and save my Dynamax for Cartana. I'm all about this right now. I'll bring Kyrie go into a water spell and then double down with the Zacian slap. I'm really liking that because if he swaps into the ground, he's still going to take some nice damage. Or do I still Wicked Blow into that? He might, he might trick him, so I might, I might Wicked Blow into that slot still. The Dusk Op slot. I'm going to do that. Because he could protect the Zacian. And try to pop a trick from here and now that Tailwind is out. Or he could swap Zazzy. Like, the, I don't know why he would swap it to those cops. I think he's trying to pop a trick from knowing that we went for Tailwind. But yeah, it's a tough turn. We could have gotten off some big damage onto the Zazzy in there. But again, I was wasting time. But they're the exact same damage. They're the exact same damage. Exact same damage. Sucks, man. <laughs> it would have done the same. And I, w and I had close combat. I could have clicked close combat, but I did not want the defense drop. Like, there's no need for me to get the fence drop. I might as well just go into a wicked blow here. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. He's going to end up protecting Zassian. Saw that from a mile away. And I think we should be able to take out Dust Cops. No problem here. Clopsy Clops. We're coming for you. We're coming for you, Clopsy Clops. We're going to take out the Clops. And if he brings out Groudon, I might just die in and change up weather. Save the Cartana. Wicked Blow is flying. Built. Later, buddy. Later, buddy. So, big turn from us there to kind of bring us back into this match. I feel like he has to bring out Grad on here. And at that point, I just Dynamax and change up weather. Because we have speed. And I might double down on Zassian at that point. I might double down on Zassian at that point. Because Zassian's a pain, man. He's a pain, yo. He's so strong. <laughs> He's so strong for no reason. Let's see what he does here. All right, brings out Wimscott. I'm Dynamaxing. Might drop Ice in that slot. You know, I'm just gonna geyser. Actually, why wouldn't I just under should I water spout again? I'm just gonna water spout again. Wait, should I put my pipe just water spout again? I mean he'll he'll probably tail when you're I'm just gonna water spout. I'm gonna double down into I would have been not very effective anyway. You know, I'm just gonna double down into Zassian here. He swaps in the ground on, he swaps in the ground on. He tail wins, that's fine. He tailwinds, that's fine. And we go, we still outspeed with that choice card, which is beautiful. Does that take him out? It almost takes him out. That's rough news. That's rough news. That we almost take him out. Playoffs gonna fire. And yeah, cool. I have my focus there. So again, I can still Dynamax over here. I can still Dynamax Kai over here. He's gonna get that attack drop. Wow, you lucky biscuit. Get the attack drop. Now put the punchies on you. <laughs> now we put the punchies on him. We do that, our uh, defense drops, and now he's forced to bring out Grada. And I feel like I just Dynamax here, right? Just take weather from him, because we're going to go first. Save my Kartana, because if I Dynamax Kartana and he has a fire move, he's just going to rip into us. Yeah, so I'm just going to go into that. Or I could go into Ice. Take out Wimscott. Man, I'd rather go in the water here. If I take out Wimscott, what do I do here? I mean, Wimscott's we'll probably going to take us out. I'm just going to go for the guys here. I need you. How many turns do we have left in Tailwind? They have one. Do I Sucker Punch? How fast are your speeders? Food? That's the real question. Are you bet, like, that much faster than our Wimscott? Where's our Wimscott at? Do we not have Wimscott? Did we not bring Wimscott? We did. Why can't I see it's your speed? Come here, Wimscott. You are oh, 184. You are not out speeding. I mean, I have Sucker Punch, which I might just go for. I think I'm going to have to go for it. See how much damage I can do. I know I'm minus one on attack, but it's better than the Wimscott just going for a Moon Blast and taking me out. So I'm going to do that. I'm Dynamaxing my uh, Kyogre here, and we're going to roll out. He's Dynamaxing Groudon. I just feel like it's my best play, my best option, especially because uh, Kyogre is just so bulky. My problem would be when the Dynamax turns A. That's when we, that's when we have a problem. That's when the problem occurs. But I probably would have should have just went into a hailstorm here. I probably should have went into a hailstorm, but my thought process here is like if he does not change up weather here, we can get off some big damage with a second X Geyser. We'll see how he wants to play it. He Dynamaxes the crowd on. We have ourselves a big war going on here. The weather war to the max. Sucker Punch flies to rear and he's what are you going for? He's going for charm. That's not affecting me, dude. Does not affect me. Wow, I could have just went into a close combat and taking that thing out. Hurts the soul. We go into the geyser, and that's a 
big damage. That's a big damage in the drought. Okay, it was a crit. I was wondering, yo. I was sitting there, I was like, well, why is the damage so big? That was some big time damage. He ends up going for the quake. I'm all about that. And he going after Prima Kyogre. Yeah, Kyogre says, yo. Oh, ouch. That, that hit hard, too. <laughs> I didn't think it was hitting that hard. I did not think it was hitting that hard. My tailwind is gone. We got to go for another geyser. Does this geyser do more? 150? I think it does. So yeah, we're just gonna go for another geyser here. And I'm gonna go for the close combat because I don't think he can KO me if he can uh I don't think he can KO me if he does not double down into my tiger slot. Oh wow, dude, that quake did a lot. Let's get a high roll, and I have a feeling he's gonna get a high roll. I'm kinda scared. He goes for a sunny day. Smart play. Smart play goes in a sunny day. Um Hmm. Hmm, Quake's gonna fly here. Should be able to eat that up, right? You should be able to eat this. Big eat. Big eat by the big eat by the ogre. Big eat by the ogre. We gotta hope this close combat actually takes him out. The one's kinda at least. Get it. That was ugly. That was real ugly. That was real ugly. Guys just gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing here? Crit again. See, that's how much damage I thought the first one would do. First thing's ripping with Sunny Day. We change weather back. This one's. Oh, dude, this battle's real close. Uh. Look, we gotta take out Wimscott. Let's try Wicked Blow, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna try Wicked Blow. Get the crits rolling. I probably should have went for Wicked Blow the first time because we are minus one. And that would cancel out the Wicked Blow. But he's Sunny Days again. Who are you going after? That's the real question. Because again, if I can take out Wimscott, I feel like we can be fine here. I feel like we can be fine. He goes for the Quake. Who's that special defense? We only have physical attackers left besides Kyogre. That's fine. He takes him out. I think this Wicked Blow should be able to KO. I think it should be able to KO because it's going to ignore the attack drop. The crit. It's going to be nice. It's going to be lovely. So if we can pick up this KO, Karkana can come in here and clean this battle up, I think. Let's see, how, let's see how this one does. Come on, Wicked Blow. Take him out. Take him out, dog. Do him dirty. Get it. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we should have went for the first time. Big mistake by us early on, but hey, we're making up. We're making up for it. Okay, so their Tailwind's gone, and now I bring out the lovely Cartana. Thank God I brought this Pokemon. He is a must-have. He was a must-have. He's going to win us this game. The outspeeds. He should be faster than Urshifu, I think. But one grass move should be able to dump on this thing. And send it home. So, Leaf Blade coming in hot. And then we're just going to Wicked Blow on top of that again. Beautiful, beautiful. So, battle number two goes to your boy. We go 2-0 for today's video. We're going to hop into our third and look for that perfect record. Final battle coming at you guys. And we're just dominating the Series 14 ladder at the moment. We're going up against a Zacian and Kyogre team with two Intimidate Pokemon, the Landorus and the Incineroar. And then he's got Support Grimmsnarl. And I don't know if I said Rollboom, but he has Rollboom. <laughs> he has Rollboom. How should we play this one? I feel like since we haven't shown off the Zygarde and Copy combo, we're going to roll out strong with it. I'm probably not even going to bring in uh, Kyogre because of that uh, that Rollboom. So we're just going to roll out like this. We're just going to roll out like, like this. But the problem with Zygarde is he's physical attacking. So Intimidate doesn't dirty. It doesn't dirty, but luckily we can just pop with this policy and kind of get an attack boost from that. And then roll out there from there. But we'll see who he leads. He's got to lead in Cinema Orlando, right? I feel like that's an absolute must. Oh, no. Grimstar Kyogre. I'm, I'm cool with that. Grimstar Oh, um, I'm not cool with that, actually. Do I sell Dynamax? Is the real question. He has ice moves. I could out. Oh, I could put a little switch on this guy. I could put a switch on in turn one. I could put a switch on in turn one. I think I want to Dynamax and go after, like, Kyogre. Do we think he's gonna die, Max? Definitely Alice Switch. I could trick him. I'm gonna Alice Switch. I'm gonna switch full of allies here. Saying he's going for an ice move. There's no way he's going for it. Right? I don't think he's going for a spout. I think he might die. That's my problem. Maybe I should have went into a steel spike into Grimstar, but I would rather have a special defense boost. But no, he's going into a uh, spout, I think. And that would suck, man. He goes into spout, ruins my day. Just ruins my day. 
completely ruins my day. We're gonna lose this battle if we go to a spell. I'm hoping he's going for an ice beam and we can now switch it. Let's just see what he does. Switching up with the allies. We're doing a little switcheroo here. Come on, you cannot see his eye garment fuel and not go for an ice beam, right? Reflect gets it up. Reflect comes out. We saw that from a mile away. Go for the ice beam. Okay, we're making some plays here then. <laughs> we are making some plays. Solid play from us. Obviously gonna be able to soak. And we are gonna drop a max quake here. Not a bad play from us. Not a bad play from us. Just I'm actually thankful he didn't die in the max. So special defense boost coming out here. I feel like from here we can proc weak his policy. Unless we're gonna let him proc weak his policy. And I can just trick him. I'm, all about. I'm gonna trick him here. And I'm gonna quake. I'm gonna quake again into the Grimstone slot. Ah, yo, that reflect doing me dirty. We would have done so much more damage. Let's see what he does here. Of course, of course. I think this was the one thing that kind of would would do us bad. I love what he thinks we're out of switching in. Can I get off this draining kiss and be able to start rolling out strong? We are plus one on special defense, which is good. So we'll see. So he Dynamax is the Ogie. The Ogie. He's gonna go to a hail. So go into the coffee slot. Yo, we thought we were switching again. But I'm confused to why my draining kiss didn't come out first. Did I not click draining kiss? Wait a minute. Oh, no, I clicked Trick Room. I clicked Trick Room. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. So we go in the Grimstone all this time. Doing some damage on that slot. And, um, I don't go into it from here. They have Cartana. That place flying through here. Kind of hurts a little bit. Shipping up some damage on me. And I think I'm just going to take out the uh, Grimstone at this point. Granted, granted defense. Because so I think we get might be able to eat one up but i can just go in the cartana here go into a leaf blade and then check out the grimstone off with a with a what is that a seal spike which i would like to have so leaf blade coming in hot and then seal spike coming in hot i'm about this not a bad turn because i don't know like do we can we soak up this uh hailstorm no, thunder wave me how dare you thunder wave me can we soak up this hailstorm maybe he thinks we're gonna guard here See what he does. He's gonna hail some. Can we soak this up? We're plus two. We're plus two. Come on, Zygarde. I know it's four times weak to you. And you do soak it up. That is huge. So we get power construct next turn. And we have weakness policy proc here. I'm all about it. And now Leaf Blade flying. If you're not paralyzed. Hopefully you're not paralyzed. And I have a weird feeling this thing's gonna be paralyzed. But I absolutely love this Zygarde. Is this thing shiny? I think it's shiny. Like, just look at its colors. It's like an emerald color. It looks insane. Especially when it lights up. I think it looks so dope. But we end up getting rid of uh, Grimmy Grim. He does not have Light Screen up, but we have a lot of physical attackers. And of course, man, of course, I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. I feel like that happens all the time to me. Losing turns for paralyzation. That's rough. So we get a lot of HP back. We might be able to eat up an. Actually, no, we're not going to be able to eat up another Hailstorm because he is going to be Dynamax. But I could protect this turn. Wow, he gets so much HP. He gets so much HP, which I love. I love the amount of HP he has. But I could protect and waste out the last Dynamax turn just go into another Smart Strike. I don't wonder who he's going to throw out here. He's going to have Zassian and I'm trying to think of his other Pokemon. Could be like Incineroar. Could be Robum. Robum, yet. That's why we didn't bring the Kyogre. So Robum is going to come out here. He does have Fake Out ready to go. Um, I think we just protect the guard. Zygarde. guard. We just go for another Leaf Blade because if we can land a Leaf Blade here... Oh, baby. We can do some big damage on the Kyogre. That leads me to be like, yo, do I stay in here? Go for an Iron Tail. I might do that. No, we're going to protect here. you got to be trying to take out my Zygarde. He has weakness policy proc. He's in his power construct form. I'm just going to protect it. And I love when he uses moves. He just, like, pops a snake out of his arm. I think it's kind of funny. But we're going to go for the fake out. Yeah, he fakes out my Cortana. I was hoping he would double down into my Zygarde slot. He goes for another hailstorm. That should be in the Zygarde, right? Yeah. But he wastes out Dynamax turns pretty well here. Again, if I can just get rid of Kyogre. Hey, Cartana. 
we get a lot of value. Then if I can get, hmm. It's gonna be really close. I think this battle's gonna be really close. Who do we have in the back end? It is why oh, can't I think of it? It's not Kyogre. We didn't bring Kyogre. We did not bring Kyogre. It's Urshfu, right? Robo's just a pain up against this team. I think he's so strong. Go for an aerial ace to get off some big damage over there. I think we have to. I think we have to get after that thing. We'll go for a thousand arrows towards the Kyogre slot, but he's probably just gonna ice beam him, right? He's probably just gonna ice beam me and go for Grass Guide, but I need to get off some damage over onto that Robo slot. I know it reflects out, but. Maybe Kyogre might even protect. That would be huge if Kyogre protects, but I just don't see it happen. I feel like he has speed on us. He's gonna roll stronger. There goes Grass Guide. Into are you doubling down on that slot? You gotta be doubling down. You're going after Cartana here. <gasps> He's going after Cartana. That was an arrow's coming in hot. This might be able to take out the Kyogre. Doesn't that hurts the soul, man? Now that hurts the soul. Aerial is gonna fire. Built. A little, little bit of damage. Yo, Reflex is doing me dirty right now. Buffets are going to come out here. Not enough. Then he's going to get some heal from the grass terrain. And, mm, what do I do here? I feel like we just had to start wasting our turns. We could protect. We could definitely protect here. Could protect. Hmm. Let's go for another aerial ace. I feel like it's a must. Let's go for aerial ace. I'll go for another thousand arrows. I'm just gonna do the same thing. You might think we're protecting. Which I could have, but. I guess for a grass guide. I think it's going to Cartana. No, you're going to him again. Don't take out my Zygarde. Ice Beam's gonna fly. Go for my Cartana. Can you eat that? I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe this dude's not taking out my, uh. My Zygarde. I cannot believe you, Cartana. Can you KO here? Cartana might be able to KO, especially with the buffets coming through afterwards. Might be able to pick up the KO. Oh, let's go. I cannot believe he kept my Zygarde alive like that. I think he kept thinking I was protecting. I think he kept thinking I was going to protect, which I'm not. I'm not no coward. I wasn't making no coward moves. I was here. I was ready to go to war. I was ready to go to war, and we're benefiting from it. So he's going to throw out his last Pokemon. We still have the one and only Urshi Ursh. In the back end. And if it's Zassian, he's gonna have to take a shot from one of my Pokemon. Unless I get paralyzed. Oh no, it's gonna be Lando. And I'm surprised he hasn't thrown out Lando a bit sooner. Lando has Intimidate. He does probably have Rock Slide here too. Kinda sucks, but we're gonna try we're gonna try to get after it. Uh Smart Striker or Leaf Blade would be my best bet, which does more damage. Leaf Blade would do more damage. We're gonna Leaf Blade and go for a thousand arrows if I want. And I'm gonna do it. Considering it is our only salmon. Because for Ace. Saying, hey yo, let me swords dance up. You're gonna let my you're gonna let my plus two side guard do this to you. You're gonna go for that move right there. You're gonna he's gonna allow that to happen. So we definitely won this match. We definitely won this match, even if this doesn't KO. I think we got a crit. Did we get a crit? No, we didn't even get a crit. What was that sword dance for? You could have just popped like an EQ or something like that and picked up a KO. What a set of matches for today's video. Went 3-0 on the rank ladder and dominated with every single Pokemon on that team. The Zygarde was doing some work in Dynamax form. Kyogre obviously always doing some work. And then we got Urshfu and Cortana doing some extra work in the back end with the support Pokemon, Wimscott and Comfy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.